Hey everybody, welcome to Homesteading with Sadie. So today I'm gonna to take you around the garden. It's June 25th. So let me show you what's been going on. It's been getting pretty hot during the day. So some of my stuff doesn't look so good, but this is the good, bad, and the ugly, right? So let's go in the garden. First, I got my raspberry clippings here and my first year um, asparagus. So I'm just leaving that untouched in the pot. Go around the fence again. Um, sunflower, I'm letting it dry out, hoping to get some seeds from it. The corn, iffy. Uh, probably won't do corn in the beds anymore. I did get a few ears. These just don't really get much. And I don't really know. I got a bunch of weeds. I really got a weed out of there. Anyway, I had some zucchini. Got tons of zucchini from it. Now I think it's done. The pumpkin looks good, but still no pumpkin on it. Strawberries are still flowering because I got different varieties in here. So I'm still getting some strawberries. There's a little pollinator or something right there. How cute. Um, watermelons start back here. Crazy, crazy. Watermelon, watermelon. Um, some hidden in here. There's two down there. Oh, I didn't even know there was two down there. I knew there was one. And there was a corn here. I got a couple ears of corn off of it already. I'm not sure if it's going to produce any more. Look, a little baby watermelon there. Um, this big old one here. All right, over here to the side. A watermelon down there. This watermelon we're probably going to pick today. Watermelon in the corner. Some of it has a little bit of an issue. I picked this one up off the ground. Um, I'm still going to cut into it. Give it to the chickens. I've already had to give one rotted one to the chickens. This tomatilla is a volunteer. I did not plant it here. And it's doing awesome. I got a whole bunch of tomatillas. And two tomato plants I planted later in the season, but I'm getting some flowers because I didn't realize that I planted only cherry tomatoes. Cucumber plant looks good over here. That's just a mess. Blackberries, I've gotten a couple off of them. They just don't flourish like I wish they would. Blueberries, never have gotten a blueberry off this bush and this bush is about three years old. So I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Another watermelon plant. I decided this is the one that I put in the ground to see, to see if it grew any better, any different. Um, got, what do you go? Got a little watermelon here, but he's kind of dried up. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. And a oh, watermelon over there. I'm sure there's another one growing on here. They like to hide. This is a one of the raspberries that I had in the bucket. The other one died. But I did plant two, which the watermelon's grabbing hold of it, two tomatoes. I need to trim it up. But they look good. Grapevine here. This is just a regular, like, Concord grapevine, I think. This was a transplant. It used to be over by the greenhouse. And then we moved it over here this year. My uh, calamundum, whatever how you say that, the other lime. I've got... Pretty little guy started there and a bunch of blossoms. This thing smells so good. Um, so gourd, not getting really, I guess I'm getting a gourd. I don't know, first year doing a gourd. Loganberry, he's gonna have to get planted in the ground cause he's not doing anything. Um, the pineapple topper back there looks good. Lilac, not doing so good. Probably needs to go in the ground. Cocktail tree looks better. He was in the in the screen room and wasn't doing so well. He's flourishing out here. I did give him some citrus fertilizer. That might be also the reason. But I still have no. Look at those squirrels. I don't know if you can see him on the telephone pole. There's like a million of them. They're all up in the tree. Early morning they play. Anyway, this pineapple topper looks good. Um, I got a bee buzzing around me. 
Raspberry doesn't look so great, but it will next year probably. This is a loofah gourd and it's flowering and I thought it was getting loofah. My kiwis aren't, my kiwis are flourishing, but they're not doing anything. So I don't know if I don't have a male, one's a female, one's an unknown. The raspberry bush is down there. There's a blackberry one there, you got a flower on it. The squirrels, man. Not enough for a video all by themselves. Muscadine grapes, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to trim this up so it's not all over the ground, but the grapes are looking great. I'm gonna need to bring my bird netting down because that little silver stuff, they get used to it. I don't think it's really working. But tomatoes, tomatoes. Another watermelon, a little cantaloupe. We already harvested a cantaloupe because it fell off and it was tiny and it was ripe. It was tiny, like a personal sized cantaloupe. Um, Zucchini, I've gotten a ton off of it. They surprise you. All of a sudden, you come out here and there's zucchini. These tomatillas are planted and they're supposed to be purple. Um, I thought I saw one on here at one time. I did, but what happened to it? Oh, here. So I've got one, one tomatilla. He's getting ripe. Feel him in there a little bit. They're supposed to be purple. Two corns, don't really do anything. Some tomatoes, again, planted later in the season. Those are yellow cherry tomatoes. I've got to get them in the garden. Oh, if you don't, if you haven't seen my um, TikTok, I think I put it on TikTok and maybe Instagram. Look at this. Some mammoth sunflower. It was absolutely beautiful before it started to get droopy, but look how tall it is. I don't even think you can tell. Another volunteer tomatilla. I keep saying tomatilla, tomatilla, tomatilla. Um, more cherry tomatoes, tons and tons of cherry tomatoes. Oh, look. They're probably in the bird feeder. Um, peppers planted really late. Cucumbers, I've gotten a few off of them. I don't know, I don't think they like this hot area over here. Um, I've gotten like maybe two or three. This is where the cantaloupe that fell off was. So I'm probably going to pull that up. I don't think it's going to produce anymore. This is the pink lemonade blueberry. Fresh this year. New plant this year. Nothing on it, but it's green and healthy. This is a gourd. No gourds. Oh, I forgot to show you over here. I have another spaghetti squash. These tomatoes are crazy um another grapevine which is a new grapevine this year so it's still small this is the grapevine i got for christmas it's a muscadine i put it in a pot because eventually we're going to move from this property and i really want to take it with me some cuttings strawberries up there cuttings from the grapevine the big grapevine another cherry tomato tr bush tree look at how many just tons of them and this is a tomato, a regular tomato. It's not done up yet. And that's the spaghetti squash. I think that's it. This garden's kind of a mess. I mowed earlier, but, so I wanted to probably start getting ready to think about my fall garden. And um, I'm gonna try to do the spinach. What was I gonna do? I, I picked some seeds up the other day. They were on sale at Lowe's. Uh, spinach, arugula, cilantro, um, peas, because peas like the cooler weather. Anyway, I'll do a video on that when I get ready to plant my fall garden. But I just wanted to do a quick June 25th tour. This has probably been two weeks since my last one, how much the garden has changed. I pulled up all the arugula. That's where I planted the peppers. And yeah, so that's it for today. I uh, hope you all have a good weekend and see you on the next video.